One reason I'm really concerned about the prospect of a amalgamation so that pit water is not as independent as it is now is the fear that uh, our bushland wouldn't be properly looked after. And we've got a lot of bushland, it's very dear to people in pit water. And I've been, I spent oh, a good 25 years doing professional and volunteer bush care in pit water with a lot of good friends. It's meant an enormous amount to me to look after the environment itself and also the friendships and associations that I've formed. And here we're looking at the eastern side of Kareel Creek and we're here because the trees you can see here and all the shrubs are the result of a marvellous cooperation between the community and Pitwater Council with the help of grants from the what used to be the Hawkesbury Catchment Management Authority and now Greater Sydney Local Land Services. We've uh, managed to get contractors to remove vast amounts of weeds along this side of the creek, plant hundreds and hundreds of tube stock, including with the help of Pitwater High School, uh, sorry, Baron Joey High School students a couple of years ago. And the reason for this is that we wanted to connect the habitats of Kareel Bay, which is down the creek, the way we're looking, with Avalon Dunes, which is just to the east of here. And this is uh, a, a major part of looking after our environment. Now, suppose there was a so-called mega council and Pitwater became a minority area of a Greater Northern Beaches Council. Just suppose that uh, with our very small representation in that council, the rest of the councillors decided that they didn't want to spend the money on looking after bushland in Pitwater where would we be? It might be a, a bit back to the days of A riding where our money went south and our environment suffered. Another thing I really like about Pitwater as it is now is that we've got a very good model of bush care so that we've got a bush care staff special person on the council. We've worked out, she's worked out OH&S issues for our volunteers. We have many bush care groups working every weekend and some weekdays and hundreds of people involved doing important work for the environment and also for themselves socially and it's a way of them looking after our part of the Sydney, our part of the world. And we really, really value that and we do not want to give it up. The OH&S issues have been a reason for some councils pulling out of bush care and I believe this has happened in Manly and I'm not sure what the situation is in Warringah but it's really a risk if we're a, a minor part of a larger council area and here we can see photos of how this area looked before all this planting went in. Council's contribution to the project is a considerable in-kind amount and you might take a look at the condition of the creek bank a few years ago. It was after the weeds were cut down and before or just as the tube stock was planted. We didn't plant big trees, we planted tube stock which is quite little ones and they're the ones that really grow best. And it was this huge amount of in-kind contribution from the council in finances and staff time that has made this quite a success and people who walk along this track really love the result. This is a major part of what is good in Pitwater is people looking after the environment like this. We're going to have a look at Van Gully Head which is one of the most beautiful places in Pitwater that's benefited from council and community support. It's a good place to look out for whales here. Here we are in one of Pitwater's really wild places. This bush on Bad Gully Head, it's probably the same as it has ever been since before Europeans came. And, but it needs looking after and we need a council and a local community that cares about it and that will fund its care. Because although it's really, really good and very bush, it still gets weeds brought in by birds. So, this is something we really have to be able to fund and look after.